Apple just held their annual WWDC keynote and announced the next major versions of all of their operating systems. To everyone surprised, they announced a new one, iPad OS. I'm very excited to see this and wanted to do a quick overview of the major features in iPad OS and some of them from iOS. I'll be doing a more in-depth walkthrough this fall when it's officially released. But for right now, this is a beta running on a test device. The first thing that is noticeable is the home screen is more dense with apps. This means you can fit more on the home page than ever before. If you swipe over from the left, you can gain the ability to pin widgets to the home screen. This is great for quick access to all of your favorite widgets. In Control Center, under Brightness, there's a new option to enable dark mode. That's right, there is dark mode on the iPad and iOS. I'm very excited about this and have been waiting for this for a very long time. So far, I think the system apps look great, but the real trick will be to see if third-party developers adopt this or stick with their current dark mode options. Right now, I think it's great. It even toggles the wallpaper when you enable it. Multitasking got another big update, but instead of starting from scratch, it got improved upon. Not only can you have two apps side by side, but you can have the same app side by side now. I found two notes documents side by side to be really helpful. Now with this, this also means you can have multiple instances of the app paired with other apps. So this means I can have Safari and notes next to each other, and then files and notes next to each other, and then notes and notes next to each other. When I tap on the notes icon, I get what's called app expose. I can see each instance of the app that is open and I can select which one I want. I'm in love with this. Slide over got a similar update. Now it has its own multitasking switcher. You can now use the multitasking switcher to go back to a previous app. And if that's not quick enough, you can just swipe along the bottom. The Files app also got a major update for iPad OS. You can now change the view to column view for a more Mac-like file structure. This is personally my favorite view for viewing files now. iCloud has had file sharing for a while, but it's also added support for folder sharing. And something I hear about every day, external storage support. It's here now. Safari on the iPad is now considered a desktop class browser. By default, it loads the desktop page. Apple showed off what they were doing with Safari, and you can now edit Google Docs in Safari. You don't have to use the horrible Google Docs app anymore. There's also a download manager in Safari. Apple mentioned the ability to buy fonts straight from the App Store as well. This feature isn't live yet, but it means we won't have to install third-party profiles to get custom fonts now. We can get them straight from the App Store. Shortcuts got the update everyone was asking for. It now has the ability to automate shortcuts. These can run at specific locations, times, or even contexts. Now, they don't run automatically in the background. You'll get a notification telling you to run them. I think this is perfect for what I use them for, and it balances out the privacy aspect that Apple really cares about. Reminders got a massive, well-needed UI update. It has a whole host of modern task manager features. I'm going to be using this over the summer, and I'll report back with how it holds up. Accessibility got some really cool upgrades as well. VoiceOver now allows you to control the whole OS without even touching the device. And through accessibility, there is now even mouse support. It's buggy right now, but it's pretty early on. So far, I've gotten a USB mouse to work. Overall, this is the best upgrade to the iPad ever. It's not a ton of brand new features, but it's making what we do have better, like multitasking. Combine this with stuff that it's pulling from iOS, like performance upgrades, share sheets, reminders, and dark mode, it's going to be a big release. I'm going to be diving into it more over the summer, be doing a big walkthrough when it officially releases in the fall. So be sure to subscribe if you're not already. Thank you for watching and have a great day.